Hi all, I will walk you over the chapter on data mining. The learning outcomes from this chapter are describe data mining as an enabling technology for business analytics, discuss the objectives and benefits of data mining, identify with the wide range of applications of data mining, describe the standardized data mining processes, recognize the steps involved in data pre-processing for data mining, discuss different methods and algorithms for data mining, identify the existing data mining software tools, explore the privacy issues, pitfalls and myths of data mining. I will start with the definition of data mining. Data mining is the process of analyzing data to extract information not offered by the raw data alone. Data mining can begin at a summary information level and progress through increasing levels of detail. To perform data mining, uh, we need data mining tools. Data mining tools use a variety of techniques such as statistics, decision trees, neural net, etc. to find patterns and relationships in large volumes of information and infer rules from them that predict future behavior and guide decision making. Uh, some examples of data mining tools would be query tools, reporting tools, multidimensional analysis tools, statistical tools and intelligent agents. Next we will be talking about the data in data mining. Data it is a collection of facts usually obtained as the result of experiences, observations or experiments. Data can be two types broadly categorical and numerical. Categorical data is a variable divided into specific groups and numerical data represent the numeric values of specific variables. Some examples of categorical data would be race, sex, age group, education level, etc. Some examples of numerical data would be age, number of children, total household income, etc. Categorical data can be of two types, nominal data and ordinal data. Nominal data example would be marital stat status like single, married, divorced. Nominal data may have two possible values such as yes, no, true, false, good, bad or multiple values such as blue, green, red, white, black, Asian, etc. Ordinal data represent rank order in data. For example, credit score which can be low, medium, high, education level which can be high, sec, uh, high school, college, graduate school, etc. Numerical data can be of two types, interval data and ratio data. Interval data includes variables measured on interval scales, for example, temperature in Celsius scale. Ratio data can be used in uh, science such as mass, time, energy, etc. Data mining capabilities include association, sequencing, classification, clustering and forecasting. Let us start with association. Association shows us how two variables go together. Determine the degree to which the variables are related and the nature and frequency of these relationships in the information. Let us take the example of market basket. When we purchase coffee, we also buy bread 35% of the time. With chips, we buy soft drinks 65% of the time. With promotion, 85% of the time. 
such information is helpful for deciding on the store layout, items bundling, discount and promotion. If you know buying behavior, you can predict future behavior by identifying affinities among customer choices of products and services. Market basket analysis is frequently used for developing marketing campaigns for cross-setting of products and services. In industries such as banking, insurance, finance, for inventory control, for shelf product placement, etc. Classification refers to prediction of a target variable which is categorical in nature. High versus low risk, purchase versus non-purchase, fraud versus non-fraud. This is used heavily in banking. Credit card and telephone company use them to detect characteristics of customers who are likely to leave. Managers then can provide special campaigns to retain such customers. Clustering. The purpose here is to group objects in such a way that objects belonging to the same cluster are similar and objects belonging to different clusters are dissimilar. Used for market segmentation, used in customer relationship management to identify customer with similar behavioral traits. Then sequencing. Sequencing talks about events linked over time. When a home is purchased, a refrigerator will be purchased within two weeks, 65% of the time. Going back to clustering, clustering is being heavily used also in medicine. IBM and Mayo Clinic unearthed hidden patterns in medical records, discovering that infant leukemia has three distinct clusters, each of which benefits from tailored treatments. Trying to do the same for cancer patients, IBM Life Sciences mining the records of cancer patients for clustering patterns. Finally, forecasting. Future predictions made on the basis of time series information. Web visits per hour sales per month, calls per day, product investment staffing decisions are made using forecasting models. Data mining is very heavily used in several areas. Here are some examples of data mining ap applications. Customer relationship management. Data mining is used to maximize return on marketing campaigns improve customer retention, maximize customer value, identify and treat most valued customers. Banking and other financial data mining can be used to automate the loan application process, detecting fraudulent transactions, maximize customer value, optimize cash reserves with forecasting. In retailing and logistics, it can be used to optimize inventory levels at different locations, improve the store layout and sales promotions, optimize logistics by predicting seasonal effects, minimize losses due to limited shelf life. In manufacturing and maintenance, predict and prevent machinery failures, identify anomalies in production systems to optimize the use manufacturing capacity, discover novel patterns to improve product quality. In brokerage and securities trading, predict changes on certain bond prices, forecast the direction of stock fluctuations, assess the effect of events on market movements, identify and prevent fraudulent activities in trading. In insurance, forecast claim costs for better business planning, determine optimal rate plans, optimize marketing to specific customers and identify and prevent fraudulent claim activities. Other data mining applications also in computer hardware and software, science and engineering, government and defense, 
Homeland Security and Law Enforcement, Travel Industry, Healthcare, Medicine, Entertainment Industry, Sports, etc. So, we can see that the data mining capabilities of sequencing, association, classification, clustering and forecasting has made it popular in several industries where it can be heavily used. Lastly, some data mining software, commercially available IBM SPSS modeler, SAS, Enterprise Miner, IBM Intelligent Miner, Statsoft, Statistica Data Miner, these are all data mining software. And there are other free and open source software also like Rapid Miner, R, etc. This is the essential of data mining chapter. We will have uh, assignments and we will have other you know software data visualization software where we will work on data mining hands on applications. Thank you.